anybody that knows anything about me knows that other than games, I love cats. I have so many cats in my house that I've taken in that I found that I just... I love animals. I love cats, especially. I had the honor of meeting the game, uh, the creator of the next game that I have at uh, Proto Spiel San Jose this year. In this game, you take the role of a foster care for cats that are moving cats in and out of a shelter. It's called Cat Rescue. It's by Sunrise Tornado Game Studios. Uh, let's check it out. <laughs> In Cat Rescue, you take the role of a foster care for kittens that is trying to save as many kittens from the shelter as you can. You're trying to get them ready for adoption and can get them adopted out. So you have four different colors of kittens. You have green, you have blue, you have red, and you have yellow cards for the kittens right there. And there's six of each of these in the deck. And you also have two special cat cards that have all four colors on them right there. And they count as any color. Because basically you're trying to make either three in a row or four in a row in your grid here. And the grid counts as the shelter. You start out with four cats in the middle. And you can have up to four by four square. And that's what these little purple squares here are for to designate your, your playing board. So I'm going to give this a quick shuffle and then I'm going to pass it off to, to Gothic to shuffle the rest of the way while I show you this card. So you're, every player at the beginning gets dealt two um, cats for their foster care that they're going to keep in front of them. And then we're going to put four in the middle of the board. And the rest of the cats are going to go in a face down deck off to the side. And that deck counts as the street. Now on your turn, you get to choose, or, or sometimes you don't get a choice, depending on where this little card is at. So this little card you can see right here has a cat from the street. It came, the last cat that came into the shelter came from the street. And that's what that little arrow shows, a little picture there. And this little part here down the bottom tells you that you get to choose to either put a cat from your foster care in, onto the board, or you get to choose one from the street. And depending on which one you choose, this is going to flip. If you choose a cat from the street, this card will stay the same. If you choose to put a cat from your foster care in, though, the card flips to the other side. You can see, and the only choice you the next player has on their turn is to put a cat from the street, from the, the deck on the board. They got to choose the top one and put it on there. Now, any card that, or any cat that this card is touching cannot be pushed. Because that's basically whenever you play a card on the board, and we'll show you when we, when we go through it. When you play a card on the board, you're going to push the whole row of cats. So if this card is touching uh, uh, one of the cat cards, you cannot push that card. So you have to choose the place where it, it will push the row but not push that card. Also, you cannot push a row in the direction that the arrow is facing. Basically, the cat is is just came uh, into the shelter. It's not ready uh, to be moved around or done anything with uh, for a little while is the, the thematic of it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and show you. The card starts out on the street side because the most recent kitten came from the street. We're going to go ahead and deal out two cards face up. Gothi gets a yellow cat and a green cat. I go ahead and get a blue cat and a pink cat or a red cat. I'm sorry. And then you go ahead and we'll flip out the four for the middle. We've got green, yellow, red, and a green one there. And then we'll go ahead and set the deck over here uh, by by Gothi. So, yeah. so this card starts out on the street side and it starts out with on the cat in the lower right corner with the arrow facing to the left. Now, like I said before, the purpose of this game is to get three in a row by pushing um, the different rows of cats uh, as much as you can, except for the one that the card is on. Now, whenever you do get three in a row, the middle card of that uh, row will flip over. Let's just say that uh, we could put one from a foster care into play. And Gothi decided, let's see, how could we uh, how could we line it up? Oh, let's just say that it, it had gotten over here. Gothi 
put a card there, even though we can't push that one. This is just for example. This middle card right here will flip over, showing this cat is ready to be adopted, to come out of the shelter and be adopted. So our purpose would be to try to get this cat to the end and off of the board, or to any of the sides, and off of the 4x4 four four grid. Because once it does get moved over eventually and come off, it goes into a points pile for us to get total up at the end of the game as two points for us. Now, any card at the end of the game that is still on the board flipped over like this, ready for adoption, it scores you one point. And this is a completely co-op game. So you're you're coordinating with the other players or working with them to uh, try to figure this out. Let's go ahead and put these back where they were. Put this cat back in Gothi's uh, foster care right there. Um, if you happen to get four in a row by placing or pushing the cards, the middle two cards will flip over. And if you have two cards that are that are flipped over ready for adoption side by side, whenever they get moved to the end of the board and one of the cards goes off, you actually get both of the cards will come off um, as being ready for adoption. They both go to the same home. So you, they both go to your points pile. So, okay, we'll go ahead and move these down a little bit so they're spaced out a little better. Okay, so since I'm going first, I get the choice to either pick a card from the street or from my foster care. And I can't push it so that this card pushes it, which basically means I can't put it here to push that way. I can't put it here and push this row this way because it'll move the, car, or the cat there. I can't put the card here and move this way because not only will it move the cat, but it will also move in that direction, which I can't do, which means I can't put it here and push it. So it's, it's a lot of strategy in the game about where you can put stuff and what's pushing it. So I get to choose either my foster care or from the street. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to choose from my foster care. So I'm going to go ahead and put the card here. And it will push this whole row up like this. Oh, I also forgot. If you happen to push off a card that is face off, and sometimes it happens, it pushes off, it goes to that player's foster care. And you can only have a total of three cats in your foster care at any time. Anything over that in the game immediately ends. So uh, you just got to watch out for this stuff. So I pushed it over there like that. And now whenever that happens, the new cat that came in will get this card. Since it came from my foster care, this card will flip over to show that it came from the foster care and it came in this direction. And the only other card, the next card has to be played from the street. They're not going to take any more cats from foster cares right now. So Gothi will play whatever cat is on the top of the street. She turns it over. Oh, it's one of the wild kitties. So she can choose to place it anywhere, uh, except we cannot move this card and we cannot move in the up direction. Okay. So she chooses to put it there. That whole row shifts up. We check to see if any cats flip. No, none of them do. We don't have any three in a row or anything. And since this cat came in and it was from uh, the street, now the, this card will flip over, showing that way and then i will get the choice whether to choose a cat from my foster care or a cat from the street i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna pick a cat from the street so oh it's another red one so we're gonna go ahead let's see where can we place this that'll be that'll be good for shifting these cats around we'll go ahead and put it here to shift this whole, oh, no, can't put it there because we can't go in that same direction. Mm, I thought it was there. But we can put it here and shift these this way one spot. And now, even though this cat counts as one of the red, it's got the card on it, so it can't flip yet. It'll flip next turn as soon as we move this card, which we're going to do right now. So since I, I put it from the street, it's going to stay the same. So it actually just moves that way. The card does not flip. And now we can move this cat ready for adoption. And then we're going to try to get that cat off of the board. So now Gothi gets the choice of either from the street or from her foster care. <laughs> okay, she's going to choose from the street and she gets a yellow cat right there. Okay. Yeah, she's going to put it there and choose to move them up like that. Okay, so since she moved it from the street, it stays the same. Uh, it went in that direction. We'll go there. All right. So, hmm. Let's see. 
Um, I've got blue cat right here. I'm actually gonna get this, get this on the board. We need to clump up those those red ones a little bit and move that way. But we can't move that cat yet. Actually, I'm gonna choose. I'm gonna choose from the street. So from the street, and we get a green cat. That'd be good. We start moving cats around from green. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to put it here. Was it outside? And it pushes in that way. So since it came from the street, it stays the same. Okay. And then it'll be Gothic's turn. Or suggestion. If I were you to put that yellow here to push it so we can get that red one to flip when it moves here. No? All right. <laughs> Just a suggestion. I'm trying to make it to where I'm not taking in another cat. You won't take it. Oh, oh, you will take it another cat because this green one will get pushed off of the board. Actually, she'll take it another green one. So she's gonna push them, push them all that way. Yeah, and since it came from the foster care, this card will now flip, and it'll be that way. Okay. And now we can end up pushing, pushing some more cards. So I have to choose one from the street now for mine. So go ahead and hand me one from the street, please. And it is a yellow cat. Oh, which goes good because we can place the yellow one here. I move this whole row down like this, and this yellow one here will flip and be ready for adoption. We also check anywhere else if anything else is ready. No, nope. since that cat came from the street and came in, the next one will be your choice, either from the street or from your foster care. Okay. Okay that way our greens lined up here so this one is now ready for adoption there she chose from the foster care so that one flips there we're not able to move that cat um, the only choice I have is from the street now so I'm gonna reach over this way I've got a green cat um, let me see I can put it here we can push off one yeah that'd be good rather than put it there and push this way even though we'd get two you can't push it that way anyway. Yeah, I can't push that way anyway. You are correct because that cat came in that way. So, yeah, I will put it on this side and push it this way. And we have a our first cat that will be in our point pile. Da -da -da, right there. And now, even though this one normally since this is the one that I put in there, he automatically gets the card. So he doesn't flip yet. But if he's still, if this, they're still in the same position next turn, whenever this card leaves, he will flip then. Okay. And now it is Gotham's turn either from the street. Yeah, she has no cats in her foster care, so she has to choose from the street. Oh, it's a wild cat. Ding, ding, ding. Wait, no, wait. Wait. So if you put it there and you push, you'll get a green cat in your foster care. Oh, yeah. Push that way. All right. There we go. Okay. And you choose from the street so the cat stays the same there. And now this one will flip and be ready. And I have a choice. I'm going to pick. Yeah, we don't have any blues on the board, so I don't want to play my blue cat yet, just in case. So I'll go ahead and choose from the street. Oh, that's a blue cat anyway. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. Even though that will give me a pink one because it'll push these this way. This pink cat or red cat right here will come to my foster care like that. So well, we have the yellows lined up. This yellow one here will flip. And so since I did it from the street, this guy's going to stay the same. He's going to go right there. And play will pass to you, Gothi. Another blue. Okay. 
And remember, when the cats shift, they only they only shift one. Yeah, they always don't shift. But these two will still fall off and go to our points because the the two come off. But the cats only ever shift one whenever they're shifting around. But you know, extra ones fall off. So it's like yay. This um blue one was the one you put in, right? Yeah. And it's from the street. Yeah. So this card stays the same there. We check and see if we have anything lined up. No. Nope. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead. I'll take my blue one, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Push these over that way. We'll get that one for our points file. This one makes three yellows, so this one will now flip around. And since this was from my foster care, it'll flip over to here. So now you have to choose one from the street, which is what you have to choose anyway, since you don't have any in your foster care. A green. Here, move those up, and then we will have three blue lined up that way. Let's shift that way. This, this blue one will flip for us. Since you're from the street, this one flips over that way. Um, how many casts do you think we have left on that deck? I think we'll do a full playthrough of this since we're, we're so close, so we've got some good points racking up. Going, let's see, going, I get a choice from the street or from the the, sh uh, the street or from the street or from my foster care. Let's see, is there any anything that this place is? There, I think I'll, we'll set this up for later. So I'm going to put it here so all these will shift over one like that. We'll get that to our point pile. So that I chose foster care. This will flip here and you'll have to choose from the street. No, going this way. So they shift one and these two go off into our points pile. Awesome. Okay. Uh, it was the pink one, right? Yeah. from the street so it seems like we're going back and forth between these two sometimes it lines up like that but it's about to change up a little bit I think so I have to pick my cat from the street okay. and I, I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning you continue playing on until either somebody if somebody has three cats in their foster care then the game ends or whenever the street deck runs out once the last card from the street deck has been placed and pushed then the game's over. So it's two two conditions right there. Let's see. I got a yellow one from the street right there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to yeah. I'm gonna line it up over here. I want to put it there and push that one there. And so he came from the street. So he is not going to flip. Here. Okay, and push this way. All right. Okay. I'm on the king from the street. Goes there. So this pink one will flip, or red one will flip. It's a, it's a, it's a light red, so it's kind of pinkish. Let's see, mine from the street. There's another one. Oh, let's see. I can't go in this direction to move that red one down there, but I can put it here. And push this up like that. This red one will come off and go into my foster care like that. Um, which one did I put in? This one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's not going to flip immediately. We will get that on there first. Anything else? No, no other three else? Okay. Okay. Got all these. I shuffled them all to the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> you shuffled them all to the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Oh, going this way? Okay, so you'll get a green cat for your foster care. And these were all shifted this way. We check and see if anything happened. No, so this one comes off and goes there. And now this one will flip for our collection. Okay. And now I have a little bit of a choice. 
Mm, let's see. I think I'm going to play mine. Yeah. I'll play mine right here. Maybe I'll get to the bottom of that deck, huh? Mm -hmm. Right here from my foster care. And I'll shift up. This yellow one will come to my foster care, but this blue one right here will flip. And since this came from foster care, this actually gets to flip now. Yay. To right there. And Gothi has to choose. She has to choose one from the street now. Which we only have, yeah. Looks like two other cards. Oh, it's a blue one. Push it down there. Yeah, it's okay. And you pushed, yeah, this one, right? So it came from the street. So it flips there. We don't have anything else lined up yet. We can get it though. So I get the choice. Uh, yeah, let's put my yellow one here to push this way so these two come off for a point pile right there that cat will not flip right away uh, you have to choose from the street and, oh yes yes we get to flip this one here Let's try to get as many flips and i want to double check on scoring so i'm not sure if the ones in our hand are subtracted from points no no, no, they're not. Okay. Those from the street? Yeah. No. So it can't be in this direction, and it can't move that cat. Let me see. Put it here. Or that way. Or there you go. That yeah. way, so that one falls off and goes into our point collection. Um, this is from the streets, so it goes here like this this pink one will flip over and this green or yellow one will flip over sorry and then i get the choice of from my foster care from the streets which i don't have any of my foster care so i can do that last one of the street right there which is a blue cat can't go in that direction um no i'm gonna go there so i get that last one so if i put it there we're not gonna get that point but i can put it here and push this way, we'll get those last two points there. All right. Oh, and then this, of course. Well, since it was from the street, it stays that way. Nah, just for, yeah, because I like to figure stuff out. Okay, so then we get the total of points. We look at our stack here, and we get two points for each one in here. But we got to check and see if there's wildcats first. This one's a wildcat, so, yeah, we get two points for... Well, each adopted cat and each adopted wild cat and then ready to adopt cat we get one so I guess it doesn't matter if it's flip, uh, flipped or not so we just count let's see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 22 points for cats that were adopted out and then 20, so that's 22, 23, 24 24 points which according to our little score sheet right here puts us at the level 20 points in a, uh, between 20 and 30 points is cat lady more and more people are keeping stray cats at home. It is causing a decrease in real estate values. Uh-oh. All right. So this is, is Cat Rescue. Um, we'll get to our review right, right now. So the good about Cat Rescue is that it's really it's really quick. It's simple. It's fun. The, uh, the colors are really easy to recognize. There's only four of them. The little pictures are, are great. The cats are really uh, cutie cute kitties. Um, and it's, it's, it's a great game. It's a great concept, and it uh, promotes helping uh, animals, which is always wonderful. I don't think we found um, too much uh, bad about the game. We, we actually really enjoyed it. Everybody we played it with in our gaming group and between me and Gothi here, we, we love the game. I think the only thing that I could possibly say bad about it is whenever you have to flip the card, remembering the first couple times we played, we got, were like, oh, no, the, the, the card's supposed to stay that way because we did this action. Oh, it was supposed to flip last turn. Oh, we forgot. Other than that, there's, there's no real bad. I mean, it's simple, it's compact, and it, it plays really quickly. Scoring system, really great. It's by um, Sunrise Tornado Game Studios. Um, so go ahead and check it out. It'll be on Kickstarter March 20th. Thank you for watching Logan Chops Reviews. I'll see you next time. Thank you.